Did you know that a record-breaking wind farm is currently being constructed in the Southern Hemisphere? Located in Australia and estimated to be worth over a staggering $2.6 billion with a massive workforce, the Golden Plains Shire Wind Farm Project is about to redefine the future of clean energy in the world. This project is far bigger than your imagination and will leave you stunned. Join us in this video as we uncover the rationale behind this project, innovative strategies employed in its construction, its detailed worth, its impact on the world, and every other detail involved in the project. Now, the question is, how many more details are involved in making this monumental project a reality? Over the years, the Southern Hemisphere has had so many wind farm projects executed for the major purpose of generating energy from wind. However, these efforts have yielded only limited success. Due to the modest scale of these projects, the output has been proportionally small, resulting in moderate achievements in wind energy generation and reduction of carbon dioxide emissions. Despite these efforts, the region still heavily relies on fossil fuels, which continue to contribute significantly to greenhouse gas emissions. As a result of this fact, the need to construct a wind farm that will not just generate energy, but can do so while effectively preventing the release of much carbon dioxide to a large extent, arose. After much research, consultation, and deliberations, the Golden Plains Wind Farm Project was initiated as a remedy. This project is situated in Victoria, Australia, and is envisioned to significantly reduce carbon dioxide emissions, improve air quality and public health, curb environmental pollution, and still effectively provide electricity to over 765 homes. As the name implies, the Golden Plains Wind Farm is situated in the southeast and west of Rokewood, a town in the Golden Plains Shire, Victoria, Australia, an area mostly used for large-scale farming. As far back as 2006, an engineering construction company known as West Wind Energy, having looked into the defects of wind farm projects in the Southern Hemisphere, began investigations to assess the feasibility of executing the project on the site. For over 10 years, this site was carefully investigated to ensure that it was capable of withstanding such a massive project. And by 2016, the investigation was completed. Between 2017 and 2018, Various assessments were carried out on the site, including the environmental effects statement. And in November 2021, the project was approved to be carried out on the site. Exactly one year after the approval, the Golden Plains Wind Farm project was officially announced in November 2022. Tagged the Renewal Energy Project, this wind farm is proposed to include about 228 wind turbines, with an installed capacity exceeding 1.3 gigawatts spanning over a massive 16,739 hectares of land, making it the largest wind farm ever constructed in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, that's not where it ends. This project also involves the construction of four substations across the area that are situated for transmitting electricity, underground cables, as well as the construction of 150 kilometers of internal access roads around the surrounding area. Each wind turbine measures 230 meters in height with a diameter of 165 meters. And guess what? With each wind turbine comes six megawatts capacity. 150 kilometers of internal access roads around the surrounding area, about six permanent meteorological masts, as well as a terminal substation that connects to the 500 kilovolt transmission line in Melbourne, Portland. To effectively implement the project, it has been divided into two phases. The first phase, known as the Golden Plains Wind Farm East, involves the construction of 122 wind turbines. Now, you're probably wondering, what does this first phase entail? This first phase is the foundational part of the project. It involves the construction of about 122 wind turbines out of the 228 that are meant to form the entirety of the project. As the first phase of the project, it also involves the building of foundational structures, and this includes the installation of underground cables and electricity collection stations, which are to aid the expected supply of wind energy. That's not even all. It is in this very first phase that the massive new terminal station will be constructed, 
featuring a 220 kilovolt switching station and two 500 by 220 kilovolt transformers. Now, here's the best part. Currently, this phase is actually in progress. As of 2023, construction commenced, and so far, the progress is commendable. It's on record that about 186 V162 6.2 megawatts wind turbines have been supplied to the site, over 100 successfully installed, and over 40% of surrogate cabling installed. The excitement is building as this first phase of the project is expected to be completed by mid-2025. On completion, this phase alone, comprising 756 megawatts of battery storage, is expected to start producing green energy immediately, powering about 450,000 homes and businesses with sustainable energy. Just while the first phase has been keeping the world on the lookout, the second phase of the project, known as the Golden Plains Wind Farm Wind, is about to take the spotlight. This second phase involves the installation of 93 V162 6.2 megawatt wind turbines, consisting of a total of 300 megawatts of battery storage to complete the required capacity of the project. Now, considering the massive constructions involved in bringing this project to life, it's no surprise that its budget is as stunning as the project. The Golden Plains Wind Farm project is estimated to cost a staggering $2.6 billion, and there's every possibility that it would even cost more. Massive project, massive impact. It's no longer news that the Golden Plains Wind Farm project is of significant value to Australia's economy. During the execution of phases one and two of this project, about 700 jobs have been created involving both technical and administrative roles. With the remarkable commitment of the engineers in this project, the Golden Plains Wind Farm is expected to be completed by 2027. Upon completion, this project is poised to make a massive impact, primarily generating clean energy to power a total of 750,000 homes. And here are more toppings on the cake of this project. The completion of this project will help meet Victoria's long-term dream of a 95% renewable energy target by 2035 contribute to net zero emissions by 2045 and offset more than 4.5 million tonnes of carbon dioxide generated by other electricity generators such as fossil fuels annually. This impact on the local grid is very necessary for energy security as it will help reduce constant dependence on imported fuels and promote a more stable and reliable energy supply. The project is not just making present impacts, but also futuristic ones, poised in favor of the fight against climate change. The best part is that the communities surrounding the Rookwood site have a special package kept for them. To ensure everyone reaps benefits from the project, plans are underway to establish community funds that will address the area's most pressing concerns, like healthcare, safety, education, and economic growth. It's like an extra win for the community. Tag Energy, a world-class expert in wind energy solutions, is the major contractor overseeing the project. In a smart move, it has joined forces with the renowned wind turbine manufacturer and service provider known as Vestas to bring this massive renewable energy project to life. Under the contract, Vestas is obligated to supply all wind turbines based on its N-Ventus platform technology featuring the largest rotor-sized turbines in the company's portfolio. It does not just end at supplying because Vestas has an additional obligation to service and carry out maintenance for 30 long years after the completion of the project. There are other contractors involved in one way or another in this project, aside from TAG Energy and Vestas. Osnet Services and its construction partner, Consolidated Power Projects Australia, seem to be taking the back seat However, this duo is responsible for the design and building of transmission infrastructures such as the new substation. At this point, there should be no doubt that the Golden Plains Wind Farm is in a league of its own, beating all other wind farms in the Southern Hemisphere by its hefty budget, crazy wind energy generation capacity, as well as its outstanding tech that has redefined standards. Compared to the Golden Plains Wind Farm, the MacArthur Wind Farm, near Hamilton, Victoria, 
is made up of just a modest 140 Vestas wind turbines with a relative output of 420 megawatts. And as expected, it can only generate enough power for only 220,000 homes. Sadly, a glance at the details of the popular Stockyard Hill wind farm in the same Victoria, Australia, will show that the Golden Plains wind farm beats it in both size and capacity. What are 149 wind turbines with an output of 530 megawatts compared to the overshadowing capacity and size of the Golden Plains wind farm? With the McIntyre Wind Precinct in Warwick, this comparison surely takes an interesting turn. This is because, with the initiative of the Golden Plains Wind Farm, the crown of the largest wind farm in the Southern Hemisphere has been switched. Formerly recognized as the largest wind farm in the Southern Hemisphere, the MacArthur Wind Farm is made of 180 wind turbines with an output of 2,000 megawatts. While the Golden Plains Wind Farm may stand out in the Southern Hemisphere, it is dwarfed by the Gansu Wind Farm located in China. With a jaw-dropping capacity of 8 gigawatts, this monumental giant is made up of 7,000 wind turbines, making it the largest wind farm in the world. Its price tag? Billions more than the Golden Plains Wind Farm. For a monumental project like the Golden Plains Wind Farm, no matter how carefully planned, several challenges are bound to arise. With this project, it was not just legal challenges from local lawyers, but also financial challenges to fund such a massive project, as well as several environmental concerns. However, the good news is that this monumental project is in progress, despite all odds, and is bound to change the world of energy generation. I hope you're also looking forward to its completion by 2027. Let us know in the comments section. Remember to subscribe to this channel, like, and share this video.